parental alienation is child abuse and it's domestic abuse as well and what you hear on this channel is very much all to do with narcissistic abuse and parental alienation and the two go together in my view Welcome back to the next episode in the series of PA, Parental Alienation, What's It All About? From Gardner to Childress. They are two of the researchers, two of the uh, folks who have studied and come up with the uh, understanding of PA, Parental Alienation, Parental Alienation Syndrome, Attachment Disorders, but who are some of the other known researchers? And that's what we're going to look at today. Some people and some organizations still discredit these well-known researchers, even though their work's been cited. Linda Gottlieb, and she's a researcher, writer, family reunification therapist. She's a researcher that's cited, and it's substantial research as well. There's Jennifer Harmon as well, and Dr. Jennifer Harmon as well. So she's all over the internet. There's uh, Dr. William Burnett, who was a Five Factor Model, so we spoke about him as well, Dr. Richard Gardner. And those four lean towards the actual term of parental alienation, parental alienation syndrome, and the research that goes along with that. The Dr. Craig Childress, who's a licensed clinical psychologist, is not for them. He says that they're reckless, he says they're unwise, because they reject the American Psychiatric Association uh, diagnostic guidance and they reject the American Psychological Association ethical guidance. Now, I don't know if they do or not, but that's just what uh, Dr. Childress is saying. And basically that they practice outside the boundaries of their professional competence. And that's what Dr. Childress is also saying. But all of them agree that parental alienation in some form does exist. Now, there's also Dr. Amy Baker as well. There's a lot of information about latent vulnerability theory on Karen Woodall's website as well and her blogs. There's loads of cited research. And Karen, she's a, a psychologist, writer, researcher, and a trainer. Dr. D if I get this name wrong, I, I really apologize. Dr. Demosthenes Lorandos, he's an attorney, a forensic psychologist. There's a whole bunch of people out there that you can actually go research, and uh, not just parental alienation, but also um, they would know about sociopaths, psychopaths, uh, cluster B personality disorders, you know, narcissism which is all part of this as well. So you've got Dr. Edward Crook, you've got Dr. Petra Dieter, uh, you've got Dr. Jane Major, fantastic. The um, person who wrote The Sociopath Next Door, Martha Stout, she's a Harvard psychologist. You've got Doug Darnell, Richard Warshak, Bill Eddy, and you've got the person who wrote Stop Walking on Eggshells, that's Randy Kruger, so, so many of them. Incredible people too. It would be really awesome to hear your views, to hear comments, any of your history, what you're going through as well, down in the comments. Till then, please do take care of yourself, okay? God bless you. I'm Jack. All the very best. Bye-bye.